right. Hey, everyone. Welcome to day five. So I appreciate it if you guys would share this live and then remember that your name will go into the hat again. Ursula just said that she really likes my earrings. So Tracy, who has been helping me with this launch, she's on my team. She crocheted these. I mean, how amazing. They are so cool. Love them. <laughs> she's taking orders. No, I'm joking. <laughs> like, I mean, orders for the earrings, not orders from me. <laughs> all right guys so we are on day five of the free create your signature course that sells yes you made them so good um so create your signature course that sells this has been quite a full-on training <laughs> yeah both though <laughs> um and it is not just it's like a mini course basically that I have been doing over the past five days. So I did warn you that we go into quite a bit of detail and you do have a workbook that you need to follow along with. So day four, we covered, oh, do I have the right, <laughs> do I have the right slides open? This is the question. Hold on. I hope I didn't open the wrong slides. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Yes, I did. Oh my goodness, guys. This has been... <laughs> I've opened the wrong um, day. So one second, I need to find the other slides. <laughs> Yo, today has been a little bit of a challenge. Okay, so let me see. <laughs> there is a lot to... <laughs> there's a lot to do. And I'm also using... Uh, yeah, is it weekend yet? <laughs> I'm using Ecamm Live for the first time. So it's a little bit more tricky to navigate uh, versus Zoom for presenting. And then we also added to the mix Canva. <laughs> Where's day five? Oh, there's day five. Let's hope it um, can switch it out nicely for us. <laughs> because we don't want to do day four again. We've done day four. Okay, I'm going to just see if I can open this up. And it's being a little bit slow. So to <laughs> let's see what we can do here. Okay, so I just need to open up day five slides instead of day four. <laughs> oh, there's the link to get your workbook in the meantime. Sorry, it's just taking a while to load here. So I've got to open up presentation mode in Canva. So for those of you who don't know, you can actually, you know, design your slides in Canva and then you can even present from Canva as well. So you don't even have to use Apple Keynote or whatever that we used to have to use. Um, okay, let's see how I can switch this now. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, okay. Now I need to switch us up. Day five. There we go. And then it's like weird. It takes a bit to get the positioning. So, so now you can see what it's like on the back end. Sorry, guys. Okay, so let's see if I can get that window nice. Because I normally spend a little bit of time getting this positioning right. And it's quite tricky in Ecamm to get the position right. Okay, is that okay? Can you see everything there? Oh. <laughs> okay, I can't get to the other window now, which is great. There we go. <laughs> okay, can you see? <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so much tech. It's so much tech. Yeah, so you can now, you don't even need Apple Keynote or whatever you used to use to present. You can create your slides in canva and you can present using canva as well so there we go i just want to position it a bit better i mean it's not exactly perfect but done is better than perfect <laughs> okay cool so let's get on with it now sorry guys for that little delay all right so we're good yeah i mean it's just so canva has come such a long way from where it started it's just amazing hey marie oh from i see paris yes i see that it's snowing in some parts of europe can we believe it it's quite cold here too as well okay day five not day four we're not doing day four again we're doing day five okay <laughs> 
so it just takes a little while to position there's about seven windows open here i wish you guys could see i'm actually going to take a picture of this and put it on my stories so you can see <laughs> what goes on in the back end all right so today we're going to talk about how to sell your signature course so we're going to talk about you know little things that you can do to to differentiate your course so that it stands out from everybody else okay so make sure you've got your workbook make sure you've signed up for that and we're on day five um so before we dive into that another quick um client win that i want to share with you i'm just um celebrating a couple of my clients here at the beginning of each of the days so this is jennifer claire so Jennifer Claire, her latest update, I mean, she's just smashing it. It's amazing. So she sent me this message and she has done $275,000 in sales in six months. So what Jennifer does is she does group programs and one-on-one -on -one coaching teaching wedding celebrants how to build their businesses. So she does weddings and they do funerals, weddings and naming ceremonies. And these are celebrants. So they're people that conduct weddings and so on. And she had been one for, I think, 10 years um, and had done really well with that. And people had started to approach her for business advice. And that's when she came to me. And first of all, we got her started with a group program and one on one offers. And then as the business grew, we actually built out all of her websites and her sales pages and everything like that. And hey, Tanya, hey, Marie, hey, everyone. So we built everything out together. She worked with me. She was working in my group program as well. And then one day on a call, we basically brainstormed this idea of her creating a certification program. So at first she started coaching other celebrants. Then she created a group program for celebrants, teaching them how to build their businesses, how to market, how to do SEO, how to get more clients. And then we came up with an idea on a coaching call about basically creating a certification program and i remember saying to her why don't you do that like she said there's only like one or two other people who do it in the like in the uk or in the world i can't remember there wasn't that many people and so she went and created a certification program and she also has a directory as well as offering like websites building websites for celebrants so she's able to take them on this whole customer journey which is amazing so she sent me this message over on Voxa the other day saying, you know, I've just had my first 50,000 pound month in sales. So that's in one month. That's usually when you do a launch. And then she said she just did her finances. And in six months, she's done $275,000. And that's for half of the year. And it all started with you. I'm forever grateful. So it's just incredible to see how she's grown that business. So when she came to me, she had never done any coaching or teaching before. We started her off with the one on one. We did the group coaching after that. And then she moved into creating a certification program. Certification programs are very, very popular at the moment. So if you can actually create a certification program in something that you know, that people love that. They like to be certified in something and they will definitely uh, pay for that. So when she first started, she quickly made her money back. I think it was in with like a couple of weeks of working with me. She made her money back because she had people that were already wanting to pick her brain and that sort of thing. And she just hadn't created a one-on-one -on -one offer for them. So the first thing I said to her was go put out those one-on-one -on -one offers you know, it's the low hanging fruits. It's the people that want to work with you. One on one is just easier and quicker to sell. And then you can start creating those group programs. And then she could launch those group programs over and over and over and scale the business that way. So she travels her, you know, travels the world with her family. They recently went to Mexico. She spent um, quite a bit of time during the whole um, lockdown and everything living in Spain. And they travel around Europe and, you know, they live a basically like a digital nomad type lifestyle. So they don't, they sold their house in the UK and they just travel. So we created their whole website for them. So like I said, Oh, here's Chantal. So Chantal's um, actually my web developer and we work together. So I, you know, work with a client to come up with their offers, all the copywriting, the, you know, what's going to go on, what pages, having the photo shoot done, the website, everything. And then Chantal's like my um, business BFF. We work together on these 
big brand build projects and we build out websites, sales pages, membership sites and everything like that. And this is the one that we first did for Jennifer Clare. And then the next one that came along after the idea of coming up with a, a certification program was this Academy of Modern Celebrancy. What's so incredible about this business, which has expanded from the coaching and the group coaching and everything and, and now the celebrants um, the Academy of Modern Celebrants is where they do, they get certified, is that this really works more uh, like a passive income. I don't really like using the word passive income because there's always a hell of a lot of work that goes into things like creating courses, you know, running these types of websites, you know, there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes to create that so-called passive income. But it's basically a course that sells itself. And then when you're certifying people, there's obviously going to be work to do and coaching and things like that. But this model is more like people are actually searching to become um, celebrants and they want to basically Google search or whatever. So if you can come up with something where you certify people, then they're actually searching for that. So you're coming up in searches and then they are joining naturally without you having to necessarily do launches for it. That's like the Holy Grail. <laughs> so these are, you know, a, an example of a sales page on one of uh, Jennifer's sites on the um, Academy of Modern Celebrancy and people can search and this will come up and, um, you know, they look at the sales page and this is why sales pages are so important. And it's why we give you templates for sales pages or we can build them out for you, however you want to do it. Um, and also, you know, getting clear on your offer and then people can come to a sales page, read through it, watch a video, see exactly what's in there, buy right off the page, tick your terms and conditions so you're covered legally and then get into your course all automatically. So that's what all of that bit does. Okay, so just wanted to share another client example and some visuals for you guys to see what we, we do with people. So today we're gonna to be talking about how to sell your signature course online. So it's one thing to create a course and get clear on a course. Now, how do you actually sell that course? Cause that's the whole point, right? We want people to actually join our courses and our programs. So the first thing to do is to differentiate your course from everybody else and think about what is your unique methodology or your way of doing something. Like if you can create a unique system and name that system, some people even go as far as trademarking their system names, you know, so what is your unique methodology or your unique way of doing things? Now you have to be able to put your own spin on something. So something that I um, coined is personal, personal brand embodiment. So the personal brand embodiment method is where is what I teach inside the program. And it's, it's this whole thing of embodying your personal brand. I actually came up with this when I did that big corporate speaking gig that I told you about on one of the days. And, you know, I was talking about personal brand. I was like, personal brand embodiment method. I was like, that is it. Like that's everything because your personal brand your offers your your visuals your website your everything that kind of encompasses a lot of it something else that i teach is on launching so you know coming up with a unique name for how i help people launching help with launching still working on the name but it's like what is that it's like laser focused launching i don't know yet i need to work on that but you can come up with you know unique methodologies and ways of doing things and name them so that they stand out from everyone else so that they sound different and unique Unique from other people. Um, one of my clients, Jordan Duval, she has the brand alchemy method, which is really cool. That's like creating your brand from nothing. Like the alchemist is, you know, that magical kind of thing. So she has the brand alchemy method and she's trademarked that. She's got content to clients, which is her Black Friday offer. She's trademarked that. So thinking about these names is actually quite important. You don't have to do it straight away, um, but you, you know, it's something to think about, like naming things, naming courses, etc. Makes that helps you to stand out from the crowd. So something else that you can do is create a logo um, and a name and a little sub brand for your course or your program launch. So this again, you will see that every 
like if you look at my launches so if you look at this launch it's got its own mini brand so for the create your signature course that sells the free mini course that i'm doing we're using this beautiful indigo blue and gold and you know we're really using that it's like a luxury feel um but it's like it's a bit different to my main website like my main brand is more white blacks gold and that sort of stuff but with this one we've like created mini brands and you'll see i've put my black friday offer out there so i've got a, a black friday bundle out and that's got its own branding as well so when i update my banners and you see the graphics then you're like oh chanel's got something else going on it's her you know her black friday bundle build a buying audience and learn to launch online so then you know you can see visually oh there's something different going on here so thinking about that, when you create your group programs, your masterminds, your courses, you want to have that unique methodology and then have a name for it, maybe even a logo for it, or at least a different font or something that looks a bit logo-ish, and then creating a sub-brand for it. So what I also like to do is have, you know, a personal branding shoot that I use specifically for my brand, your expertise online sales page, and then a certain personal branding shoot that I might use for my Black Friday sales page. So the personal branding shoot, again, that comes back to my personal brand embodiment method. It's you know, creating um, a brand, like I call it brand your launch. I actually have a workbook in my courses called brand your launch. So how do you actually brand it and make it stand out and create a campaign around it? Okay, so partly having a sales page and having images and colors and everything like that, that's a sub brand for each of your different offers will help them to stand out and it won't just look all samey and boring after a while. Hey, Jade. <laughs> okay, so the other thing that you can do to make your course appealing and help it sell is to create a community for your course. So remember that, you know, I think a big part of my um, group program is the community and those relationships that get formed. So people start, they end up working together, they network, they refer each other, they hire each other, um, they, you know, sometimes become accountability buddies, all that kind of thing. So it's actually really important to think about the fact that you're holding space for these people and you create a Facebook group for them. You create a course hub where they can go and access their courses. Now, you don't have to go fancy course hub straight away. I do have a course hub and it's all automated and everything works and we can build that out for you if you want to. Um, but you could start out with a Facebook group and teaching on Zoom and then maybe have a Voxer or a Slack channel. So you can have a Voxer group. Voxer is a walkie talk talky app a bit like whatsapp um so i've talked about this before but i have communication buckets so all my clients are in voxer we talk there my team is on telegram we talk there whatsapp is friends family school gymnastics all that stuff happens on whatsapp and then facebook messenger and instagram messenger is for people that are interested in working with me or you know general networking and that sort of stuff so by having communication buckets i know that when i go to voxer i've got my client you know my coaching hat on and i'm gonna go and answer my clients questions i have all notifications off so if you think, oh, I'm going to be overwhelmed creating these like communities that I have to, you know, be on 24 seven, you don't have to be on 24 seven, just answer it once a day, Monday to Friday. Um, that's enough. You know, people are not expecting you to be there all day long. I mean, most of us answer these things more than once a day, let's face it. <laughs> but we don't, you know, put put in your terms and conditions that, you know, you would answer questions every 24 hours, Monday to Friday, you know, just put some conditions in there. And then of course, if you want to over deliver, you can do that as well. So thinking about these communities and spaces like a course hub where people can find their course easily, they can go through the course, have a good course experience. The user experience is really important there. And then the Facebook group possibly or Voxer or Slack, that's um, other options as well for your community. So your Zoom calls for Q&A and hot seat coaching, how often is that going to happen? People really like Zoom coaching. The Zoom group coaching calls is where, you know, that keeps everybody on track. 
you know, that helps everybody to get a result and see what everyone else is doing and be motivated by them. And like I say, people will pay more for that group coaching element versus just a DIY course. And this is when we can have a product suite. We can have DIY courses. There's nothing wrong with that. We can have a DIY course. We can have a group program and then we can have one on one so that we have different tiers, different ways that people can work with us so that, you know, you become accessible to people at different levels. All right. So think about with your course, what bonuses can you add to the course or to specific modules? So again, this is like giving people a reason to buy, like putting in some juicy bonuses or guest experts and things like that. That's going to make your course more appealing and people are actually going to want to, you know, they're going to want to invest because they're like, oh, yes, love that bonus. You know, I have a copywriting mini course as a bonus in mine. I also have... Um, a sales page, opt-in page, and thank you page template by my web developer um, that we kind of put our heads together and brainstormed and she built it out. So everybody that joins my group program, they get a sales page, an opt-in page, thank you page template that's like plug and play, and then they can just change things out. So that's a huge bonus. So what bonuses can you add or guest expert trainings that can really make your courses and programs juicy, you know, like that makes people want to buy them. Um, plug and play templates, resources or swipe files are really popular. Um, Canva templates are popular, workbook templates, graphics templates, uh, copywriting swipe files. So the other thing that I give in my program is all of my emails. So I'll show you all the emails that get sent out to promote a five day, what to send out during a five day, open to close cart emails. You can see all of my emails in Google Docs so that you can see how many emails. It's probably like 35 emails or maybe more <laughs> that go out during a launch. Like there's a lot that's involved that you probably don't see when you see people launching. You don't see all of the stuff that goes in the back end. Something else that we have is that, um, you know, an Asana, ClickUp, Trello launch template with all the steps that people need to launch. Um, somebody just bought that this morning, actually. So what templates, resources or swipe files can you add in that also make your course or your group program like a no brainer offer? That's like, oh, my goodness, I can't believe they're giving me all of that stuff. So that's something that people will value and they can get um, help them get better results as well. All right, so don't forget to share this live and uh, share this on Instagram, Facebook, and tag me so that you can get your name in the hat for that carry green uh, planner. And thanks so much. Uh, give me some fire emojis. Ah, Celeste, yes, it was you. <laughs> Celeste said, um, it was me. So Celeste just bought the, um, the launch project template. And I also have a Black Friday DIY course that I'll tell you about at the end. It's up on social media as well. So think about how is your course different? So you've really got to add in these extra things to stand out from what everybody else is putting out out there, okay? So how is your course going to be different to everybody else? All right, so that's kind of like looking at what you can add in and how to package it up and brand it and all that good stuff. Then the next big step is you've got to create a campaign launch around your course or offer. So you need to create a buzz um, you need to do some kind of a, like what I'm doing now, a five day training to get people, you know, getting to know you, see that you know your stuff, give some value, give some results ahead of time, give them a taster of what it's actually like to work with you in a free masterclass or a free five day series or whatever the case is. It could be an evergreen webinar eventually as well. I do have an evergreen masterclass. Um, so if anyone wants to check that out, you can let me know. And at the end of the Evergreen Masterclass, I give you an opportunity to book a strategy call with me. And then we look at, you know, what you could do in your business. And then I'll direct you to, okay, I think a course would be a good fit or the group program, or let's just work one-on-one -on -one and we'll build out your whole website and everything for you. So there's different ways that we can create campaigns, but I'd say one of the best ways is to do a live launch. So to do a five day free training and then maybe even a masterclass like the next week, if you want to do that and add that in. 
but that is the best way to create a buzz around your course, especially if you've never sold it before. It's just not good enough to put a few posts on social media and think it's going to sell itself because it just won't. It won't stand out. Okay, so think about as well that how many times per year will you launch your course? You can probably launch your course at least four times a year. So once a quarter, you would create a five day live launch and you can make it the same one if you want. You can change it up a bit if you like as well. But, you know, what I've seen work really well is just, you know, doing the same one and just tweaking it and adding new things and really refining that same five day training that you do and then open the cart to your group program or course, take enrollments in, close the cart, and then have people joining. So think about how many times per year can you launch? Some people launch every eight weeks, some people launch every three months, some people launch once a year. I would say people with a bigger audience and a bigger Facebook ad budget and that sort of stuff can launch once a year, like Marie Folio or one of my past coaching clients, Lisa Johnson. She is like, you know, doing multiple seven figures at this point. And she's launching, I think it was like twice a year. And now she's switching it to once a year because she has massive launches now when she launches. So she, you know, is able to launch once a year, like um, Marie Folio does that as well. But when you're first starting out, I would recommend launching more often because you don't have that clout yet. You know, you don't have that big audience um, that you build over time. And then you can add on things like uh, Facebook ads to really amplify things. So it all depends on what your budget is and how many people you get into your launches will determine how many times you want to launch it per year. So think about that. But I would launch more often than not when you are first starting out. All right, so this is a good example of how to brand a course. So um, you guys may have seen, I've posted this um, on social media already, and I am doing a limited offer. So this is my Black Friday bundle. So it's only available from today until Cyber Monday. And it's a Black Friday bundle of build a buying audience and learn to launch online. This is a DIY course. So you can go in, you can get instant access to everything, to the workbooks, the trainings and everything like that. If you want to learn how to launch and brand your launch and everything like that. Now I am opening up enrollment to my group program as well. So if you want to reach out to me and go, I want to see which one is a better fit for me. Is it the DIY course or is it the group program? The group program will be starting with the live six month uh, group calls from January onwards. So if anyone's got questions, just send me a message and we'll see which one is a better fit for you. Also, if you go for this uh, Black Friday bundle and then you want to upgrade, just let me know and we'll take your investment from this and we'll apply it as a credit to the brand your expertise online. Okay, so this is available until Cyber Monday, which is Monday the 29th of November. So this is for you to get productive, learn to launch online and sell out your offers. So I've got you covered for all of those things. So it's a self-study online course. You'll have lifetime access to that. So if you sign up now, you can get instant access. So it includes my Learn to Launch Online mini course inside there. So you've got your workbooks on how to launch. It's got your launch checklist. It's got like a full launch calendar. It's got the um, Asana, ClickUp, Trello, you know, the step-by-step, -step, which is what Celeste just bought as well. So Celeste, if you want to upgrade to this, just let me know and I will give you that discount of what you just bought that one for. If you want to upgrade to this, absolutely fine as well. And um, yeah, so this has got you covered. I've got some of my clients that pull back the curtain on their launches and they tell you, you know, what worked, what didn't work, um, how they applied my launch method to what they do that there. You can see Jennifer Claire there in the little um, box that I featured. Um, yes, so this has got you covered for launching and it's got the workbooks, it's got the Asana check, Asana step-by-step -step list, it's got the step-by-step -step launch plan, the workbook for that, your launch calendar, everything you need to do to promote a five-day, execute a five-day, 
open to close cart. So everything that you need to do for that. Um, and then there's also the brand your launch workbook. So how do you actually differentiate yourself and show that you're, you're creating a campaign? You need to do what I said at the beginning here. You have to create a little mini brand around your course. Now you don't, do, you don't like go crazy and like totally, totally different from your main brand. You'll notice I always use the same fonts. There's a similar vibe going on. But as you can see, even with these slides, and you'll see with my Black Friday graphics, which are gorgeous, by the way, <laughs> um, that there's like a little brand around it. It's like a sub brand. So I'm going to teach you how to do that and give you visual examples of what graphics you would create, what assets you need, what pages you need, etc. for when you do your launches as well. And then this is the launch task list. So I sat down and I was like, how can I help my clients to have even better launches? So I had been teaching launching for the longest time. And then I was like, you know, there's when I'm coaching people, I'm able to. Um, so Marie, you already have this. So Marie, you are in the main program. So the brand your expertise online has this and like a whole bunch more. So you don't need it. <laughs> Marie's already in. <laughs> Marie is in um, brand your expertise online already. So um, yeah, you don't need you don't need it. <laughs> We've got you covered. So this is a DIY course, and it's just it's a course bundle. So the brand your expertise online has way way more um courses uh, sorry modules workbooks everything like that and the uh, group coaching calls and everything okay so the la the launch um uh, sorry <laughs> the launch task list this works in asana ClickUp, and trello i do personally prefer asana but i know some people love trello and ClickUp. um i would say ClickUp or Asana are really good if you have a team and you need to outsource to people and task to people. Trello, probably better for things like design projects and stuff where there's not so many people involved. So when you do start to scale your business and you're launching and you're going to start having a VA and a graphic designer and a social media manager and a web developer and all that stuff, when you start to grow your business, your team will grow eventually. And when you first start out, you'll just, it might just be you by yourself, or it might just be you and a VA or you and a social media manager, and you can still use this. And then as you grow, you can add more team to it. So you can use this every time you launch and just import it every time, just put in your dates there. And it's all of the steps that you need for a launch. So, you know, I, I took about a week to put this together, like full days for a week. Because no matter how many times I've taught launching, I was like, what are all the steps and what are the order of everything that needs to be done to prep for a launch, a five day, what's everything that goes in behind the scenes, that's all in there. So you can follow that step by step. Okay, so in the Black Friday bundle, you can learn to launch online, create your sales funnel. So we teach you about building a buying audience. So build your list with your Facebook ads, sell out your group programs and this is only available from Black Friday to Cyber Monday, and it's 497. Okay, so the value of this, like you could go out and launch, it's you know over four thousand dollars of savings. So you could go out and have a ten thousand dollar launch off the back of it if you go and apply what I teach you inside of this. All right, so that's the Black Friday offer. I, yes, I know. So, um, yeah, the artwork's great, it's really gorgeous. Actually, I'm just going to go back to that slide. Um, and this is what I say, like when you actually brand your launch, it will stand out. So Marie says that um, love this black and gold artwork for the Black Friday offer. So you want your you want your campaigns to stand out. You want your launch campaigns to stand out and people to know you're doing something. Otherwise, how are they going to know? So this is where the branding piece comes into it. And um, yeah, love, I love me a bit of branding as well. So the difference between the group program and the DIY course, so the DIY Black Friday bundle, that's only available from now until Cyber Monday. And that's a do-it-yourself course. You go in and you, you know, learn everything, do it and apply it, and off you go. And it's only 497. So it's like a no-brainer. Um, and then the group coaching program, if you guys want to find out more about that, 
that is brand your expertise online. So I'm opening that for enrollment and I'm going to take new people in at the moment. You get instant access to the course hub for that. And then we're going to start officially. Um, we are going to start officially with the six months group coaching calls from the 11th of January. So you can dive in now, you can start with the course, and then we can officially start your six months. So you'll have me as your coach in the group coaching program from January for six months. If anyone's interested in an alumni track, I also have alumni. I know some of you guys are coming to the end of your six months with me in the group coaching program. Just reach out. I have a monthly membership alumni track that you guys can come and join so I've had a few of you already reaching out about that so I'd love to have you guys carry on with me or come back for more like some people do um, if you're like thinking oh, I just need to have that community that support and I want to keep having the help inside the program you are welcome to message me for the link for that as well yes um, so Jackie says, love the cohesiveness between all your various courses is awesome. Yes. So having a cohesive brand congruency across your brand, um, really helps you to stand out and look professional. And then having those mini brands, sub brands for your different offers allows people to go, Oh, Chanel's got a black Friday bundle. This is really cool. You know, you'll see people putting their black Friday stuff out at the moment. So Black Friday stuff, and then when that's done, then you know change it up again to the other, the next offer that you have, and have little mini sub brands and graphics and things, so people know what you have going on. Because if you're not making the sales that you want for your offers, for your courses, for whatnot, you know, go and do a little audit of your social media and have a look. Like, is it clear? You know, what do you do? How do you help people? What course offers do you have? Do people even know? <laughs> um, yeah, do people even know what you're selling at the moment? So Chantal says, yep, a succession plan of offers so your clients can grow with you. Exactly. So that's what I was saying, you know, creating that that product suite where there's the free offer, the low cost offers like courses, um, templates, things like that. And then your group coaching, group course offers is like your mid. And then your higher end offer could be something like one and one done for you or a mastermind. So that's where you'll end up eventually. You don't have to create your entire product suite when you're first starting. All depends where you're at and what you can add to that. Okay, so if you guys are keen to win the perfectly planned uh, 2022 planner, I will do a draw of this next week i think let's get over like black friday cyber monday craziness and i will do the draw on tuesday for you guys and so that means you can keep sharing this i know that people are watching the replay so far it's all organic views which is really exciting i think um the first video has like 380 organic views on it already so if you guys share this i really appreciate it because it gets more people seeing it it helps more people and Every time you share, I'm going to put your name in the hat again for this planner. So you can, uh, that's first prize. If you share this, just tag me on social media so that I see it. And then second and third prize is a custom mystery box. So this is a custom box that I will um, send to you wherever you are in the world as well. So we're going to have three prizes for the top people that have shared this, as well as the top 10 people that are engaged inside the Build Your Brand Online Facebook group, people that are posting their homework and engaging in the group. The group will tell me who the top 10 people are, and I will put the top 10 people's names in the hat as well, and then I'll draw the names on Tuesday. So you can binge watch weekend, you can, uh, you know, put Netflix off, and do this course. Uh, so I've basically given you a free course this week. So do the course, do the homework, post your homework in the group. I want to see the workbooks. I want to see some selfies with your workbooks. Post that in the group so I can see that you guys are actually doing the work and your names will go in the hat. All right. So make sure that you've obviously registered for this. If you're just seeing this today, there are five trainings that go with this and a workbook. So make sure that you've tr you've actually opted in for create your signature course that sells November and um, to when you have to have registered as well. And we have created a single page where you can watch all the replay videos there. 
Um, I had to change the privacy settings on it this morning. I think some people couldn't actually see the replay videos, but luckily someone was like, um, I can't quite see them. I was like, oh, okay. I think it's the privacy settings in my Vimeo. So yeah, there's always tech things that happen. So if you battle to watch them, go back and they are all there on that replay page now so that you can find them easily. All right, so you can also share this graphic. This graphic was emailed out. It's also in the Facebook group. Um, and you can share the graphic and tag me and say that you registered for this and your name will go in the hat again. Um, or if you want to do a little video of this training on your Instagram stories and tag me, you can do that as well. Okay, so share the trainings, um, share your homework, share your takeaways and your aha moments inside the Facebook group. And like I say, the top 10 people will have their names in the hat again. All right, any questions for me? Um, I know it's Friday. We were like, it's drink o'clock probably somewhere. <laughs> so I'll let you guys go, but let me know if there were any questions. Otherwise you can post your questions into the Facebook group um, and I'll come and answer them there. I wanna see your homework. And then don't forget that I have the Black Friday bundle that's available from today till Cyber Monday. Um, I also posted in the group, uh, my web developer has a Black Friday bundle for a um, WordPress website bundle, sales page, opt-in page, a WordPress mini course bundle. That is in the Facebook group as well. I'll probably post it again for you guys to find that as well. So let me know. Um, yeah, it's one o'clock somewhere. So let me know if you guys are interested in any of those templates, the DIY course, or if you want to reach out to me because you're interested in the group coaching program, um, then let me know if you want to have a chat and see if that's the right fit. Just send me some voice notes on Facebook or Instagram and we can have a chat about it. Cool. So Celeste said, thank you for this incredible value, Chanel. I'm so glad that I registered. I'm so glad that it's been valuable. Thank you so much. And don't forget to share it with people so that they can also go out and create their signature courses that sell. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Bye.